Friends, the city of Tulsa was treated to some great basketball this weekend, and it continued tonight. The early game, four seed Texas and five seed Arizona, the kind of game that makes this tournament the absolute best. We pick it up in the second half. Jordan Mays, the three point jumper, 43 35 Arizona. Then Jordan Hamilton follows that up with a three pointer to make it 51 45 Arizona. The Jacobin Brown drives. He will hit the runner and the foul. It's a three-point play. 65-63 Arizona by just two. Then Brown drives in. He'll hit the jumper in the lane. This time Texas is up. 69-67. Corey Joseph can't inbound the ball. Tries to call timeout, but the ref calls him for a five-second violation. Arizona ball with 14.5 ticks left. Derek Williams gets fouled. Throws the ball up towards the rim. Goes in and the foul. Are you believing this? Yes, this is what March Madness is. Williams makes the free throw to complete the three-point play and give Arizona the lead 70-69, under 10 seconds left. Jacobin Brown drives. Ball doesn't get to the rim. Tristan Thompson grabs the ball, tries to put it up, appears to get fouled by Derek Williams. No call. Time runs out, and Arizona hangs on for the victory. Arizona wins it by one, 70-69. For more on this game, let's hook up with sports director Big Al Jerkins live outside the BOK. Take it away, Al. Well, Shaq, thank you very much. It's uh, obvious this official doing the Texas game counts to five a lot faster than most. Texas had a two-point lead with 14.9 seconds to go. They inbound or try to, try to call a timeout, and the official calls the five-second violation. Arizona ball, and Arizona goes on to win it from that point on. And I got to tell you, the Texas folks were not pleased. Some of your, some of your was staffers. it five? Well, um, it was a quick five. Did you think you had the timeout in time, however? Well, I thought so, but obviously he thought otherwise, so, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It was a fast five seconds, you know, so you just got to, you know, blame the rest on that one, but it is what it is. Because, again, I would have no problem with, you know, somebody saying, hey, I, I missed it, and, uh, you know, the, the, the timeout was definitely called with four seconds. There's no question about that. Now, Arizona inbounds, scores the winning bucket on the three-point play, as Shaq told you, by Williams. Texas has one final shot that doesn't go, but back to that five-second violation. Rick Barnes was really upset over the NCAA explanation via a press release after the game. Well, the only thing that bothers me right now, because I don't want to take away from Arizona, is the, the comment that was released by the NCAA from the official. That, again, because we all make mistakes. We all do, and I can handle that. I can deal with that. But for him to be, again, I thought it was a very smug type of answer. And I, and I do think this, if they would have gone and looked at it, I think they would have changed it all. I just think before you're going to make comments, it ought to be, you better be absolutely right. And I think if they would look at it, they would at least be a little bit more sensitive, you know, in terms of how they said it. And the last comment in the second line was when he said, game over. I mean, it's not over for these guys. I mean, they played their hearts out, and it's going to live with them for a while. And I just comment like that I just think is very inappropriate. All right, now here is the release from the NCAA from the officials. And to add insult to injury, the official who made that five-second call or four-second call is a Pac-10 ref. Arizona, the Pac-10 champion. All right, that wraps it up from here for now. Texas goes down, but Kansas continues on. We are efforting Kansas Post for you before our newscast is over at 11 tonight. But for now, let's send it back to Shaq.